Sonny over here trying to convince Selena that they could trust Ava, but he couldn't trust Carly. Hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chesley for General Hospital, March 1st, 2024. Okay, so Sonny keeps saying how you could trust Ava, you could trust Ava, but you over here talking about you can't trust Carly? And not just that, why does he all of a sudden think he could trust Ava, but Dexter betrayed him, he can't trust him, can't trust Nina, can't trust Carly, can't trust Michael, he barely trusts Dante because, you know, he a cop. And I seen some people talking about that. They was talking about Ava and how she was listening around the corner today. The they feel like Ava knows more than she's saying. Now, I don't know about that. But Jason's supposed to return Monday. I was looking at the spoilers and it said something about Jason Morgan is back in Port Charles. And I said, so are they going to give us a little backstory and tell us where he has been? Is he brainwashed or he just going to show up like nothing happened? <laughs> he been fighting his way back. Because they've been steady saying how Steve Burton did an interview, or was it on his podcast? It was either on his podcast or he did an interview talking about how um, people have been saying that he's the one after Sonny and the rest of the mobsters, but he confirms that that wasn't him. So if it wasn't him, then who was it? Then on the preview for Monday's episode, Dante is uh, talking to somebody and he's like, what the H word or whatever. And I said, they got to be Jason. But yeah, Selena and Sonny arguing about whether or not they can trust Ava. And on Monday's episode, they still going to be arguing. And they said their whole little situation is interrupted. Now, I don't know if it's going to be interrupted by Dante now because Dante had came in. He came in with Chase and they were saying how Sonny and Selena are making moves and they got to stop them. AJ Jones talking about something. This is what he was afraid of. And I was reading the spoilers because I want them to say something, give us something. But I'm more confused. I got more questions than anything. The spoilers end up mentioning Jocelyn and Dex and are going to be questioning them. And I said, oh my goodness, so they don't got caught. I said, what led up to this? this? But on this episode, I guess we might as well start with Sonny now. So Sonny was talking to Spinelli and saying basically him and Selena going to use themselves as bait. Ava managed to convince Sonny. Sonny really is trippy. He need Jason, but he needs somebody bad. Because how do you think you could trust Ava, but you can't trust Carly? I don't understand that part. Ava be acting like she know more than what she be saying. She always do. I also want to know how will he react? Will he still be like he could trust her if he knew that she was the one that put the idea in Nina in the first place? But she was saying how they might think it is a real meeting or whatever if she speaks on behalf of the, I guess, Jerome family. But I said, why would they? I guess the only way I could see that working is because, you know, Olivia just got taken out. So she would step up and mention it or something like that. But other but other than that, you ain't been in the game a long time. That would raise some eyebrows. But because her sister just got uh, taken out, I would understand that part. So she might have a point. Agent John was just talking to Anna about getting Sonny out of his life. They said in the spoilers that they still going to be into it on next week's episodes. They going to be into it. I sound sick of these two as well. She went to talking about how Sonny's not the same person. He done did so much since back then and all this other stuff. And that made me think about Cyrus, what Cyrus been saying. I want to know. If the person that's been after these folks, is it just them or is it a whole bunch of other people? Well, I won't say a whole bunch, but like somebody else. I'm kind of disappointed though. I was hoping, you know how they always do Friday's cliffhanger? I know, I think we behind because then they show some news one day that interrupted some of these episodes. Also, does anyone know if the new writers have came in yet? But yeah, I was hoping we got a cliffhanger. They show like maybe, you know, when Sonny and Selena was arguing about if they could trust Ava, it could be a loud crash or something. A loud crash, then next thing you know, that's when we see Jason and they see him coming out of smoke. Look, I watch too much TV. <laughs> but for real, something that's like, oh my goodness, I can't wait till Monday's episode. I mean, it is getting interesting, but we'll see. People think that Spinelli going to get hurt because, you know, Massey and Felicia was talking about him and she wanted to know why was she so upset. She was more upset with Spinelli than her. She's like, because he's not my parent. Also, Massey was talking about how Spinelli didn't lie about his mobster connections and everything. And I was like, y'all think something going to happen to Spinelli? I don't know. Like I said, I was reading the spoilers and I ain't seen nothing. They didn't give nothing away. They said a little bit of stuff. They mentioned that Jason was back on Monday's episode, but we already knew that because Steve Burton said it. They talk about Jocelyn and Dex being questioned by Anna, so he apparently back in town. I didn't see this part. I just looked at it. Sonny and Ava share a moment. I said, oh, my goodness. And they also said that Nina, uh-oh, I think I dropped my stuff in the car. Let me see. They say, uh, Sonny and, uh, no, Nina questions Ava about what's going on between her and Sonny. I said, oh, my goodness. Carly is taken by surprise. I want to know if Jason has his memory. Does he know who he is? Well, yeah, y'all, I just had to say that about, um... The cliffhanger, because I feel like it could have went so many different ways. It could have been, because all this time, for how many months they've been talking about somebody's after Sunday. Then they confirmed they don't went out to Selena. They don't went out to other monster. This would have been a perfect opportunity to, uh, while they arguing and stuff, had this plan to uh, have these folks take them to who they work for and all this other stuff. Oh, does that confirm? Does that confirm that it's not just the uh, person that's taking out monsters, but it's somebody else they working for? 
you know, I was like, this would have been a perfect opportunity for them to pop up if it's really Jason that's after them. But they said that it's not. Whoever was after them, it would have been a perfect time. He could have been standing beside Jason. Who knows, y'all? Uh, okay, who else we got? Oh, uh, Maxie and Felicia was still talking. They were talking about uh, Spinelli. And she admitted that she was falling back in love with him. Uh, what they did was wrong. And she's just afraid of losing Spinelli. So she tried to call him and he didn't answer. And you know, he's working with Sonny. I guess he's watching to see who it is and everything. And people think he's going to get shot. I don't know. I don't know. I was getting that vibe that, that something's going to happen because of the fact that Max was trying to contact him and he didn't answer. And she realized that she was just afraid of losing him. And they was talking about the monster and stuff. Okay, let's see who else we're going to talk about. Michael warned Carly about Sonny and she, that she, he told Jocelyn to bring Dex back. And she was like, why would you do that? You know, basically his life is going to be at risk. But he was like, he worried about Sonny. And Carly admitted that she's worried as well. But Carly drew Sam, Alexis, Michael, Willow, Christina, Blaze. Who else was it? Danny, Jake. They all was gathering together. Drew. Did I mention Drew? They all was gathering together for scout's birthday to celebrate her and everything and i was trying to figure it out when they i had seen danny but i didn't see jake and when i seen him i was like wait a minute i said wait a minute how is he connected to these folks i said wait a minute <laughs> i know how he connected to danny that's his brother but i was like scout his sister what is scout what is scout yeah and then they showed that scene with jake and danny and he was like that's your sister you let's go celebrate your sister and everything he over here vaping when he left out i knew he was going to be up to something. I thought he was going to be drinking or something. But he was vaping. He was vaping or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I knew it. But Jake said he wasn't going to tell. But he going to make sure that he don't do it. And they did that so that Jason can come in. That's why they've been steady mentioning Jason's name. And I'm afraid. Sam talking about she afraid he's going to be just like his daddy and all this other stuff. It was something else. I didn't make sure I did everybody's. Um, I skipped over that Dante and Chase was talking to Lee. Lee, um selena's bodyguard i was look that's is that the same guy that sonny had do something or was that the other one look i'm confused lee was the one um uh, when curtis was talking to her wasn't it the main bodyguard he got beat up but he was the one you know telling dante and chase that they had a plan they were setting the dude up so they could be bait but yeah that's basically it that's the end of the review macy had said something she was saying something about how many growth experiences should one person have and i said facts i said facts i've been seeing that on social media a lot where they talk about how they don't want to be a strongest soldier on god's strongest soldier list and i thought about that immediately i said fact but in regards to this whole jason being back thing i want to know if they're gonna say okay he's brainwashed he lost his memory he's been trying to get back like what are they gonna say what explanation because usually i think the last time he came back they were showing what's the last time he came back when uh ava helped him was that it he don't look he don't love so many times i don't remember y'all but I want to say that they build it up. And then ain't that when he jumped through the the, uh, the rooftop or whatever and everybody was there? But to build all this suspense over somebody being at the Sunny and then all the mobsters and all that, I feel like it could have been done better. We could have got some type of cliffhanger. That would have been a perfect opportunity. They over here arguing about Ava and that means they would have been blindsided. I mean, Spinelli watching, but he didn't answer his phone or anything like that. I don't know if they wearing any wires or anything. But yeah, y'all, I think that's everything. Let me know y'all thoughts on this episode down below. Are y'all ready for Jason's return? Stay tuned for the next review. Have a great weekend and be safe. Deuces. <laughs>